Akanimo Odofia, my brother, who has just spoken, is not the candidate of APC in Akwaibun State. If anybody wants to know who is the candidate of APC, let him just check an an portal now on the that is as to the governorship candidates of the party. You will see on the on the space of APC that it is dash dash that there is no candidate. Now I took the case, the case at the Supreme Court today was decided in my favor and against Akanodofia. It was decided in my favor and against Akanodofia. The court of the Federal High Court decided that the they should the party should conduct another primaries one and that Akanodofia should not participate in the primaries, him not being a member of the party, and that I am the member of the party and I on others could participate in that prim should participate in that primaries without Akanodofia. On the basis of that, Mr. Akanodofia, Obong Akanemodofia appealed to the Court of Appeal. The Court of Appeal, um, William Daudu, Jesse presiding, decided that the court of the federal high court had no jurisdiction because the writ was not endorsed for service outside out of jurisdiction because it was issued in Uyo to be served on APC and INEC in Abuja, and the court held that. The, under the Sheriff and Civil Process Act, Section 97 and 98, that the writ ought to have been endorsed, that it is issued out of jurisdiction. That was the main case that the Court of Appeal decided, and that on account of that, it has set aside the judgment of the Federal High Court. I now took the matter to the Court of Appeal, I mean to the Supreme Court. Two issues were argued at the, as main issues at the, at the Supreme Court. One, that the court the Federal High Court has jurisdiction because the Sheriff and Civil Process Act does not apply to the Federal High Court, and that the Federal High Court is one jurisdiction, has one jurisdiction sitting in different um, judicial divisions for administrative purposes. Now, the court, the Supreme Court today ruled in my favor and said that, that the position of the Court of Appeal is wrong and he set aside that judgment of the Court of Appeal. In fact, just one paragraph, one paragraph of the uh, judgment of the Court of Appeal, which the court has set aside today. He said the, the judgment of uh, Mohammed Baba Idris, Justice Court of Appeal, on page 92 of the judgment says, flowing from the foregoing authority, therefore, and in view of the consideration of the issues in both this instant appeal and the sister appeal, wherein I have already held that the originating summons at the lower court, having not complied with the provisions of Section 97 and 98 of the Sheriff and Civil Process Act, the lower court wrongly assumed jurisdiction, and so this appeal succeeds. Another is made striking out suit number that filed at the lower court, and his judgment of 14th November, having been delivered without jurisdiction, is accordingly set aside. This is the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which uh, Obama Kanemo Odofia then said... They issued the same release they have issued now that the Court of Appeal asked the, his name to be sent to INEC and they circulated all over the world. And I brought the judgment of the court and the court order and circulated everybody, but everywhere. You, but you do not have the judgment, the verdict of the Supreme Court. I have the judgment. It's, not, it's, it's not ready it's yet. It's not ready yet, but by tomorrow it's going to be out or next tomorrow okay. it's going to be out. So what that judgment has said hmm. is that I lost on one leg because I said in the nomination or the process of choosing a candidate which we are going to go for, that Akanemo Rafia should not be allowed to participate because he cannot participate in PDP nomination on the 25th and the following day he comes to participate in our nomination in APC, that he cannot. And I also said that the court should say that he is a, he's not a member of APC. But the court said, the Court of Appeal said that it is an internal affair of the party. And the Supreme Court agreed today that it is an internal of the affairs of the party. And it held in my case that Akanemo Udofia, the, the waiver is granted Akanemo is a, a member of the party. That is the only thing he has won. Uh, so from today, he has become a member of the party. But they have misinterpreted it to say that the court has said that 
he is a candidate of the party. He's not a candidate of the party. Just, just hold, hold, hold the thought, uh, because we need to go on a commercial break. And when we come, I will continue the conversation. Thank you very much. There's more to, uh, more to this conversation. There are a few things that you have raised that I'd like to get clarity to, and perhaps also for Nigerians to have a sense of what exactly is going on. Stay with me, everyone. After this break, we'll continue the conversation with Senator Gita Enang. Dear Aquaibomites, Aquaibom is a land of endless possibilities, blessed with abundant human and natural resources. Our leaders have laid an enduring foundation for her greatness. We have built schools, roads, healthcare facilities, and other infrastructures. It is time to build the people and speed up wealth creation for our citizens, promote entrepreneurship, and activate the great potentials of our blue economy. My name is Umar Basieno, the candidate of the PDP for the Office of Governor of Aquaibom State. I am passionate, qualified, and ready to serve the interests of our dear state. God has placed in my heart ideas which I call the Arise Agenda to unlock a future of a diversified and industrialized economy and to sustain the peace we have enjoyed over the past few years. Vote for me and together we can build the Aquaibom of our dreams. Vote for peace. Vote for prosperity. Vote Pastor Umoino for Governor Aquaibom State. PDP, power to the people. Everyone for staying with us right here on the program. Um, it's the contention over the ticket of the APC in Aquaibom State. Senator Etayan Angu is the one who has gone to court, to, from the Court of Appeal, has gone to Supreme Court. But there is the contention of what exactly is the position of the Supreme Court. Um, so let me allow you to listen to the lawyer who spoke to, to us after the judgment today. Take a listen to the lawyer and allow Senator Etayan Angu to respond to it. The Supreme Court just dismissed uh, the appeal by Senator Ita Enangna and declared that the issues he raised, which borders on membership of political parties and waiver, is a domestic affair of the party. It was the basis of this appeal. And I found the judgment of the lower court, that's the court of appeal. So by that, Akanimo is the candidate of the APC in River State, in uh, Aquaibom State. Yes, the APC governorship candidate in Aquaibom State is a Kanimo Asupo Odofia. Why is your position different from that? I mean, that's you were not a counsel in that because it's your matter. You were not, uh, you, you, you didn't represent yourself. But why is the account of that lawyer different from your own account or your own interpretation from what the media is reporting, though? Now, I agree with him. There were two issues. One, that the judgment that the court Supreme Court should affirm the judgment of the Federal High Court and set aside the judgment of the Court of Appeal. Now, the, court, the Supreme Court set aside the judgment of the Court of Appeal, the one that said that the Federal High Court, that the, the Federal High Court had no jurisdiction. The Supreme Court set aside that judgment, that section. But the area that said that a waiver was granted, which he said, the Supreme Court did not agree with me. The Supreme Court said, it is an internal and domestic offense of the party, like what he has said, and that he is a member of the party. That does not make him the candidate of the party. So you disagree on that note. At your own uh, is an interpretation issue. He says, based on that fact, Akanemo Udofia is a candidate of the APC. It was not one of the issues before the court as to who is the candidate. It is as to who is the candidate. But by in, inference, can you infer it based on the inferred. position it of the Supreme inferred. Court? It cannot be inferred. So, okay, so because that again is one thing that uh, your your party and and the other side need to you know yes. trash out. Yes. So uh, and Einek and uh, your party need to decide. Yes. So, but your position is that there is no candidate of the APC in Aquabom State. APC, is that your position? As at this evening, mm -hmm. as at this evening and at this moment, and if you go on the INEC site, you will see that. For governorship and deputy governorship, you have candidates of all other political parties. But on the space of APC, it is dash, dash. Because from the beginning, from 29th of May, from 27th of May last year, or 28th and 29th, 
when this issue happened, I had raised that what we've done will not produce a candidate. And I came and wrote that what we did cannot produce a candidate. And that was why I went to court, you know, so that but, the court should order but Senator, nomination. If in, in all of this, there is a, a possibility of a jeopardy. It's three days to the election yeah. now. It does look like your party might go into that election based on your own stand, uh, stance without a candidate. All I have said is that if the election holds this Saturday, the 11th, anybody, when you go to vote, if you see APC on the ballot, please vote for the party. That means because it is only a candidate, a party that has a candidate that is contesting the election. And it has, it has been validated yes. in, the, in the Supreme Court yes. judgment. Uh, in, yes. In, if, you uh, in a yeah, so. if you don't have a candidate, that means you are not contesting the election. And so you may not be on the ballot. Have you reached Unless, out to your party on this matter? I'm reaching out to the party. Officially, yes. on, on this matter. Yes. Why do and I have written, why do I have mean, written 11 letters to the party on this matter. Why is it that they're not listening to you? I've written 11 letters to, this matter, to, the, to the party on this matter. And immediately I got the judgment of the Court of Appeal, of the, of the Federal High Court. I went to have a meeting with myself and the National Chairman and the legal, National Legal Advisor. And I requested that at least let us conduct nomination, which was ordered on the 14th of November. They told me that there is an application, there is an appeal. I said, an appeal does not execute at the state of execution. We can still conduct the nomination. Whoever emerges, we file candidates. But at this stage it is, we don't, we, we don't have any candidate filed. And if we don't do it, it may be too close to election, and we will not have a candidate. Senator, so we, I've been reaching yeah. 11 letters, yeah. and I'm going to make another approach to them, at least bringing the court order Sen tomorrow. Senator. But as of today, neither myself, no, I can't hold off here. No, any person is on the is on INEC, and no court order, mm. other than no court order mm. that anybody should be made a, a we're, candidate. We're, we're out of time. Yeah, we're out of time, then Senator. We, we it, it, Senator Enang, and I allow you a thirty a thirty seconds uh, final word. Uh, I assume that Senator Apabio is the leader of your party in your state. Go ahead. No, no, I'm asking easy. Yes. Perhaps the most senior member of the party yes. uh, in your state. Yes. Why? On which side is he? Are you on his side or is on the side of Ankan Dofia? I wouldn't. I wouldn't go, want to go there. Is I he on your side? Though? I wouldn't want to go there. So he's not on your side. I wouldn't want to go there. Why is he in so much trouble in your party, though? Because people like us who started struggling for the past 10, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019, and laid foundation for the party to be a, a, blood, a blossoming, uh, attractive party, which made people leave PDP and all that, and came in to join us and built up. Now, those who came in wanted to get some of the people out. Right. And they have gotten so many people out. Very many responsible people had left the party Where and left the party yeah. only with mm -hmm. each shell. Thank so you. unless we rebuild the party, we will still have this situation. Yeah. I wish you the very but best. APC for today and at the judgment of today right. did not confer candidacy on any person. We hope that and I, I disagree able to... with the statement that has been made by the learned senior advocate. L lawyers always disagree on so many yeah, things. Thank yeah. you so much, Senator Itainang, for your position tonight. And that's our show for today, everyone. Many thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. I'm Shio sure Okimale. God bless Nigeria. Asum, Asenyen kubok, abasi